I'm John Redwood, I'm the Member of Parliament for Wokingham and I'm the Chairman of the Conservative Party's Economic Policy Review. I think it's extremely difficult curbing carbon emissions on a global scale, as many scientists recommend, because we're living through a very exciting period when many countries in Asia, led by India and China, uh, are catching up fast and understandably want much higher living standards for the many hundreds of millions of people who live in each of those big countries. I don't think the free market will deliver the rapid rate of contraction in carbon emissions that many scientists would like to see without intervention from legislators, from governments. And I think it's most important that this intervention is on a world scale. I don't think you can do it in one country uh, because all that will happen is that the uh, most intense energy using industries will move out of that country so that it can hit its targets and it will go somewhere else. Uh, but it won't actually reduce the, the world targets overall. So I think the world has to sit down as a whole, the world's leaders, and talk about uh, how we can sustain a, a rapid rate of growth for those countries coming quickly out of poverty in the way that we admire and wish to see, at the same time as putting enough resource into the transfer of existing technology and the development of new technology so that that growth can take place without making such a huge demand upon the dwindling reserves of oil and the very substantial reserves of coal, which, which nonetheless can cause quite a lot of trouble if you burn them in traditional ways. What I would like to see the government do is to sit down with the industry and look at the whole model that is currently used for, for flying. And one of the reasons, of course, we, we emit a lot of carbon overhead in Britain is that we're short of runway capacity and so we fly planes around in stacks over London for rather longer than we should do. If we got them down onto the ground more quickly, they would burn less fuel. Another reason is that we uh, have a model which moves the planes around on very congested airport sites uh, with their full engines running rather than with, with tractor bush pull and rather than having enough ground capacity so that the planes only have to engage engines or have an engine unit attached to them uh, when they actually need to move. So, that, so there are things that could be done to uh, try and improve as well as of course setting the industry ever tougher targets in terms of total emissions on the plane. But I think the argument over airports in Britain is a very, very good example of how very well-intentioned people say if only we just stopped building extra airport capacity in Britain we would then help solve the global warming problem uh, whereas of course all that would happen is we would divert aviation to Schiphol and Charles de Gaulle where they are aggressively bidding for more business. Targets are, are very popular and I know that many pressure groups think that the target is the answer. Um, I wish I shared that optimism but the evidence is that of course this current Labour government came to power in 1997. It picked up the Kyoto targets, which we were easily going to hit because of the great success we'd had in moving from coal-based generation of electricity to gas-based generation of electricity and combined cycle gas as a result of privatisation. So Kyoto was more or less in the bag. They said, oh, well, then Kyoto's very easy. We're going to have a tougher target. They put in a tougher target, and of course, they're not going to hit their tougher target in practice. In the UK, unfortunately, carbon emissions have been rising recently, as they have in the European Union. So that part of the world, Britain and Europe, has talked toughest, has actually fallen down on the job very badly uh, in recent years, and I think it shows that targets on their own are not enough. You've got to find the policies, the technologies, the incentives, the enthusiasms that go with the grain of the market and human nature if you wish to get the result that your target requires.